Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, just had to, uh, I, I kind of ran out of space on my phone on that uh, past video, so I just had to make a space real quick. Just made, wanted to uh, make a couple more points on this point, on this uh, matter of uh, Witness Lee teaching people to be mentally deranged, mentally unsound, to lack reason and be irrational and irresponsible. So yes, Witness Lee actually taught his members, his followers, to be crazy, actually crazy. He taught things that were mentally deranged, delusional, irrational, mentally unsound. So anytime the local churches talk about being crazy or crazy lovers of Jesus uh, and, and just being so crazy in love with Jesus and singing songs about it, realize it is not a good kind of crazy, like being enthusiastic. It's more than that. It is a kind of irrational way of life. It is a way of suppressing thought, of suppressing reason and logic and being mentally unsound. And uh, just as an example, I wanted to quote from you a song that one of Witness Lee's Kool-Aid drinkers wrote. And this is a popular song sung by many people in the local churches and is promoted among the high schoolers and the college students to sing. Okay, listen to this. Do you want your child singing this? And I'm just going to read one stanza and then the chorus of the song. There's more to it, just to give you a little window into what, how people receive Witness Lee's teachings and what they say about it, how they think of it. Listen to this song that's called, of course, Crazy Lovers of Jesus. It says in the second stanza, Forgetting all that I am outwardly doing. So we're forgetting all that we're doing. We're just going to forget it. Forgetting all my thoughts of improving. So forget all thoughts of improvement. Don't try to get better. In other words, don't amend your ways. Don't try to change. Don't try to do what the Lord said, basically. So forgetting all of my thoughts of improving. You only want to be loved. I give my love unto you, a crazy lover of Christ. I'm jumping for joy. And then there's the chorus. Listen to this. It says, oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you. Oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you. Oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you until myself is no more. Oh, Jesus, it keeps going. Oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you. Oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you. Oh, Jesus, I'm crazy loving you till I'm lost in you. End of the chorus, end of the song. Uh, I don't know about you, but last time I read my Bible, true Christians are not lost. They're found. Jesus finds the lost sheep. He doesn't say, be lost in me. That doesn't even make any sense. Jesus is the good shepherd who finds his sheep and leads them, and they follow him. His true people are not lost in him, and they certainly are not no more, as it says in this chorus. I'm crazy loving you until myself is no more. What? I mean, that is weird evil stuff there, talking about becoming no more, and I'm just lost in Christ. No, that is craziness. That is delusional. That is weird, irrational, unusual uh, language and behavior. So this is just an example of uh, the fruit of Witness Lee's teachings. You know, I just wanted to bring that out. And uh, if you saw the embarrassing fruit of the local church members a family and personal life, uh, it would all make sense when you put it into perspective of what Witness Lee taught them. Uh, you know, when it's put into the perspective of that they were actually taught to be crazy and be irrational and make 
and not care for their future and not care for themselves in a proper, normal way, then, then it makes sense. Uh, they were actually taught to be mentally deranged and to lack reason. It's no wonder that so many people from this cult uh, are suffering from, you know, all kinds of mental illnesses. And if not, again, if, if it's not a straight out mental illness, at least other kinds of strange mental conditions, you know, as well as of depression, bipolar, you name it, it's there, it's there in the group. And of course, there are also the, the extreme cases, which do exist in that group of people going crazy and uh, killing their family members by stabbing them to death. Yes, a sister in New Zealand stabbed her own father to death. Yeah, glorious church life. Glorious church life right there in New Zealand. Yeah. So, you know, another way of saying, this is the last point I want to make here. Another way of saying that someone is crazy is to say that they lost their mind. You know, that's kind of, it's synonymous. Being crazy, you lost your mind. And again, Lee literally taught people to close their minds and to get out of their minds. In other words, he taught them to lose their minds. And I'm going to give you another song, except this one's not from the local church's cult. I'm going to give you another song about losing your mind. Um, you know who else taught you to lose your mind? Who else taught that? You know that uh, devilish rock band named KISS, K-I-S-S? -S? Uh, even when I was an unbeliever, I wasn't even interested in them. Uh, but, you know, KISS is a, a weird rock band that would put on a bunch of weird makeup and dress up as, I don't know what they were, aliens or something like that. And they sang about all kinds of, all kinds of weird stuff, of course. Uh, but uh, I don't know, I, I, again, I never even liked them as an unbeliever. But I do remember one of their most famous songs, which is called Detroit Rock City. And the last part of the chorus of that song, you know what it says? The last part of the chorus of a Kiss song is this. This is probably their most famous song too, Detroit Rock City. The last part of the chorus says, you gotta lose your mind in Detroit Rock City. So Kiss actually taught their fans to lose their minds. They sang it to them, they taught them via song to lose their minds in Detroit Rock City. And uh, guess, who, guess who else did that? Witness Lee. Witness Lee and Kiss taught the same kind of thing. Why is that? Because they come from the same source. They come, they are of the same spirit, the devil, Satan. That's why. No coincidence there. Only the devil wants people to lose their minds. Only the devil wants people to close their minds and get out of their mind. And supposedly get their spirit in, the, in gear and exercise your spirit. And exercise your spirit is never found in the Bible. Not even once. Not even once. And this is what you promote to young people and college students. Shameful. So only the devil wants people to be mentally deranged and unsound, make stupid choices, and live in an unwise way without any kind of prudence, without any kind of caring for their future. That's what the devil wants, and that's what Witness Lee wanted, because Witness Lee was a mouthpiece of the devil, plain and simple. What a shame. So don't be fooled by the local churches speaking to everyone here, people who are out of this cult, never been in it, but especially to those who are still in it. Oh my goodness. Please don't be fooled. Don't be fooled to think that all the local churches in Witness Lee, they're, they, when they say crazy lovers of Jesus, they're just talking about, oh, being oh, so wrapped up in Jesus' love and being so enthusiastic. Actually, no. You can tell it by his own words. Just check out this last video that I just did, the first part, where I show you all the different points of what Witness Lee exhorted in that, that chapter. Chapter 3, Crazy Lovers of Jesus. Okay, check out that book. 
If you need to, if you don't believe me, I'm quoting straight from the book where Witness Lee is giving all kinds of insane, mentally deranged, delusional, mentally unsound advice that just lacks reason, that is void of understanding. And he's promoting this as a, and, and he was uplifted as an oracle of God. It's insane, man. It is insane. So don't be fooled. The kind of crazy that Witness Lee promoted was an actual being crazy. Actually being mentally deranged, mentally unsound, to lack reason. So, what else would you expect? What else would you expect from a cult leader and his cult? <laughs>